30. Um, it's Friday, October 21st. So I've been up for the past four hours. Kendall just left for work. Um, so last night um, when Kendall got home, ate Chinese food because I was craving Chinese food badly. And then I decided to dance. So last night I played Macarena. I like to slide, cha-cha slide. I probably danced to like 15 different songs. You know, I just want to try to dilate more, okay? So I have my appointment at... 8 50 so i have about an hour to go so what i'm doing is just basically getting some last minute stuff together because i'm determined that when i go into this doctor's office today that i'm at least three centimeters dilated and everything so i'm i was getting the last minute to time things together for example um have her boppy we didn't put that in the car the other day I didn't add a garbage bag to my um, hospital bag just for like my dirty clothes and stuff. My flip flops that I bought, um, packing up my laptop and all my equipment because I don't want to leave any of that behind. And, you know, I'm going to leave it here, but um, I'm going to leave it for Kendall. So I don't want him to not know where things are. So I'm just grabbing some last minute to time thing because I'm really determined to have Mason by Monday. <laughs> I'm being serious. So, um, what was I about to say? Um, I was up most of the night watching people's labor and delivery vlogs and everything. I think I'm just a little bit confused as to when do you know when to go to the, to the hospital and everything? Like I said the other day when I was at the doctor's, you know, I had some slight pain and everything, but I didn't know I was having contractions. And, you know, I don't want it to get to the point where it's just like I'm already too dilated. By the time I get to the hospital, it's so late. I want to be there before time and everything. So I'm just a little bit confused as to... You, you know, when I'm supposed to know, when is the time? How do you know if your water breaks? Like, every time I pee, I'm like, is my water breaking or am I peeing? Whatever. But anyways, I'm about to get ready to um, head out to the doctor in a little bit, and I will see y'all later. Hey, y'all. So, it is 1031. I'm out of my appointment. I'm actually at a car wash thingy. I'm about to clean out my car because my car is disgusting. Um, oops, sorry. Um, so I had some breakfast and everything and now, like I said, I'm at the car wash. I'm frustrated because my appointment just didn't go the way I wanted it to. I don't understand how you go backwards in dilation. How was I two centimeters on Wednesday and then now I'm one centimeter? You know what I'm saying? I can understand if I was still two or whatever the case may be and I really don't like my doctor's office has about eight different physicians so you see them all in a rotating schedule because they don't want you to get used to just one doctor and then that doctor is not the one that actually delivers your baby which makes sense but i get frustrated so this was the third time that i seen this particular doctor and i don't really care for him because he tries to make it seem like the things i talk to him about or you know are concerned about are nothing like it, it's nothing to be worried about and you know i told him about being in labor and delivery delivery the other day and how i was two centimeters dilated and i was contracting this man looked at me as if i just took a pregnancy test and it came back positive and i'm telling him i'm in labor he was looking at me like i was that strange so I don't know I, I I don't have any direction right now as to what's going on um, he basically was just like oh don't expect to go into labor anytime soon or anything like that which is fine but I feel like he's being kind of rude in a sense um, but it is what it is I've been having a lot of pressure contractions whatever you want to call it um, since I left the house this morning so and he, when he did check for dilation today it didn't hurt compared to the other day like I told y'all but let me clean my car and I'm gonna get back with y'all hey y'all so I just got done talking to Kendall and I'm about to go get my eyebrows done because I haven't had them done since about um even though it's not that long ago the day of my baby shower and they're a little bit wild right now but um I just wanted to say something really fast because you know obviously as you can tell I'm still very annoyed about how um 
my appointment went and everything like that. And I just want to say if you're pregnant, if you're about to be pregnant or whatever the case may be, please make sure that you pick your physicians wisely and realize that your care is basically up to you. Don't don't feel like you have to stick somewhere. And I should take my own advice, but the reason why I'm sticking with my doctor is because I literally have two weeks. By the time it takes them to, by the time it takes me to get to a new physician and for my old physician to um, send the paperwork over to a new physician, I could pretty much be in labor and um, then have no doctor. You know what I'm saying? So. Just realize if you don't like your care, you can go somewhere else. I really don't, I really do not like the care that I'm getting in a sense and Kendall's very annoyed about it as well. Excuse me, he's also decided, you know, if I'm still pregnant by my next appointment, he's going with me to my appointment because he's actually snapped on this particular doctor that I had today which that I don't really like too much. He's actually snapped on him before because the doctor tried to make it seem like, you know, nothing was wrong with me when there's clearly stuff wrong with me. So, yeah, I'm just annoyed. I just, I just want my daughter here and I just want nothing to do with this doctor or anything and it's just like, half of the reason why I want her here is because I wanna guarantee that my daughter is okay. You know, it's not because I just want to be carrying around a baby. <laughs> I want to make sure I want to see her here in the flesh and make sure that she's good and fine and we're both healthy. Hey y'all, so it's after 5.30 and I'm back home. Um, so, I about to say, so I had a little episode at the nail salon. I went in to get my eyebrows done and as I was laying down, the lady kept asking me if I was okay. I felt out of breath. Next thing I know, she was waking me up because I went out of it for a little bit and giving me some water. So, <laughs> did I really faint at the nail salon? <laughs> Y'all, it's not funny, but it's just like, damn, what's going on, okay? So, basically, ever since I've left the doctor, I've had lightning crotch. And... I'm also feeling like a lot of pressure in my booty. So it's like a lot of pressure in my vagina, a lot of pressure in my booty. I don't know if it's contractions. Cause in my opinion, when y'all say contraction, when people say contractions, I feel like it should be off and on pain, not just constant pain. I just don't know y'all. So I also came home and I believe I have lost my mucus a part of my mucus plug if i'm not mistaken i've been reading about the mucus plug and the whole bloody show thing was well, not bloody show sorry if this is tmi but been reading about the mucus plug thing and i'm more than certain that's what i saw but you know so i've just been sitting here just trying to like bear through the pain or anything i have no desire to get up and go to labor and delivery <sighs> I'm over it, y'all. So I'm just sitting here just watching vlogs as my stomach and every ounce of me is aching. But it is what it is. Y'all, happy Saturday. So it is officially fall. Y'all, it is so cold. So the other day, um, there was a little scent in here because the trash wasn't taken out right away. And you know how we get, we get a little lazy. So I had to open the window and I haven't closed it up since. Because you know, when it's summertime or when it's not cold outside and you have a window open, you don't even notice. Woke up this morning and because Kendall just told me to unlock his car for him because he left his car key up here. And I went outside, y'all. It's... It's at least 60 degrees outside. It's freezing. So Kendall just left to go to um, the football game. Besides it being cold, I just didn't want to go. Like, I'm not, mm, mm Last night was very hard for me. I was having contractions, but nothing, you know, to get up to go to L&D about. Had to get up and pee. I just couldn't find a comfortable position. The last couple weeks of pregnancy, it's very hard to sleep, y'all. I, I don't know how anybody gets a good night's rest. Like, 
yeah, so right now I'm just watching some YouTube, eating some leftover food. I didn't even show y'all what I made last night. So I made some chicken rice. Ignore my plate. <laughs> I overly cooked the, um, overly warmed it in the microwave. And then I made some shrimp with some um, sauteed peppers and onions. Really, really good. So that's what I'm eating for my breakfast right now. But yeah, hopefully within the next couple of days, y'all, I don't know if I can wait another two weeks for Mason to get here. I'm so uncomfortable, but yeah, it is what it is. Hey y'all, so it is, I don't even know how I talked to y'all earlier, excuse me, yes I did. So there's no need for me to tell y'all it's Saturday again, but right now, hey, we're on our way to the movies, we're gonna go see Kevin Hart, um, Lord knows this is gonna be our last date before Mason gets here or she gonna wait another seven years but hopefully I'm gonna laugh her out what you think What's up? you think I'm gonna laugh her out tonight yeah I wish it worked like that I don't have to do no work look at all these people trying to get to the state fair the state fair traffic is ridiculous like I just wouldn't go on a Saturday that just seems like the the worst day to go. Look at all that 